Okay. Hi everyone. I wanted to do a poolside makeup look today and show you everything that I like to take to the beach or poolside for sun protection um, and other handy tips. So I'm due any day now to have a baby. Um, so if I seem out of breath, it's because I am. Anyways, so I want to get stuck into like my favorite SPFs, how I incorporate SPF into my makeup routine, how I touch up throughout the day so that I've continuously got protection and what I keep in my beach bag. All right, so I already put my skincare on, except SPFs, I thought I would share that. These are the ones that I've been using currently. I am missing the Murad Invisibler, which is a very matte kind of gel. Um, it's really nice, but I finished it. It's a great product. Um, I've gone through like two of them, so I really do recommend it. The newest one I got is this Sunday Riley one, which I really like. It's very lightweight, kind of whipped marshmallowy texture. Also love the Elta MD UV Clear Broad Spectrum SPF 46. This is like a professional skincare brand and I purchased it at an esthetician's office. The Dermalogica Prisma Protect SPF 30 and the Biosense Squalene and Zinc SPF 30 UVA UVB is one that I also really like. Um, I feel like this is the one that I've been using the most. I'm almost out of it, so I kind of want to finish it because SPF does go off. Put some on. I know people say to do two fingers worth. I feel like I probably do one fingers worth or one and a half fingers worth. It's just like too much on my face. Um, if I want to apply more, like if it's a specially scorching day, I would um, apply one finger and then apply another finger after. But generally I do this because later I put SPF on in my makeup routine. So I know a concern some people have is that because there's two different types of sunscreens, mineral and chemical sunscreens, I think I use either. Um, I'm not on the bandwagon for one or the other just yet. But I do know some people have concerns that chemical sunscreens enter the bloodstream. So that's that SPF on. For my body SPF, this is what I'm currently using. I just finished a full size, I think it was this one, Extreme Screen from Ultraviolet. I finished it. It's so good. It's SPF 50, but SPF 50, Australian SPF 50. So it's like way better than any sunscreen you could get in the US. So really recommend that one. This is the one that I keep in my handbag for touch-ups on my body. Now, what I have at the moment and what I've been using, these ones I've been keeping in my purse as well for touch-ups and such. These are Supergoop. Supergoop is an incredible brand. I love their SPF products. As you can see, I've got a lot of it here. I just received the Glow Screen, SPF 40 and water resistant, but it's also glowy. So it gives you that gorgeous celebrity look. And then the Everyday Lotion, the Play Everyday Lotion. And then another one I love is the Shiseido one. This is the one that I'm gonna start using now because again, I've had it open for a couple months. So I need to get going using it. It's really, really Really good though. It's SPF 50. You can use it for face and body. Water resistant 80 minutes. So it's even more water resistant than the Super Goop one, which is only 40 minutes. So what I would do is put this all over my body and I do plan to go out into the sun after I finish this video. So I will be putting that on. I'm going to apply it and it's a really good color. If I put it on my shoulder here, it's kind of like a pale flesh color rather than white. You can see that so it truly is invisible it looks so nice on the skin it's amazing now when it comes to makeup I really wanted to do this video because the other day I had two of my girlfriends over for a pool day and they were complimenting me on my makeup like 10 hours after I had applied it I put it on in the morning and then they came over in the afternoon and like when we were about to cook dinner they were complimenting me on it so I wanted to show you I used the super goop CC screen SPF 50, it's 100% mineral CC cream. And I use the shade 215N. Um, this color is probably a little bit pale for me at the moment, but I do have um, the shade up in my Sephora cart that I've been meaning to order and I will order it soon. But just, you know, I can make do with this because I'll just add bronzer later. So I'm going to add this to my face. I do like a generous squirt for each area of my face. And now the thing with this is, it looks like it's not gonna blend, but it will. For me, anyway, okay, for my skin tone. It looks like it's not going to blend, but I just keep at it. Do not be afraid, I know. <laughs> 
I know. Okay, what you are thinking right now. It's kind of like that Marc Jacobs video that we did that one time. Don't forget your ears. <laughs> Stick with me. <laughs> Listen, it's this or get sun damage and potentially cancer. Okay, I know how it's looking. You just have to let it kind of soak in. Trust me on this. I don't sound very confident, do I? There's always a point where I'm like, oh, is, that, is this the day I put too much on? And then I just keep rubbing and it eventually gets there. But you know, if I had the right color for me, because as you can see, it's like a lot paler than my body right now. We are going to get there, friends. Now, I know that there's also some talk that you shouldn't mix SPFs. So I'm hoping that it's not like mixing them. It's not like I'm mixing them together. I'm applying them one after the other. So I just don't know what the alternative is. Like a lot of foundations have SPF in them. You know, it's the same thing. So see, look, I'm starting to look human. We are SPF queens in this house. That looks like it's on. Now this is like purely poolside makeup, okay? I wouldn't probably go this hard if I was just going outdoors in a general way. This is like, oh, I'm planning to be outside like all day type makeup. So do not get stressed. This is not something I do every single day. Look at that, it's finally in. Looks good. Now, something that I bought on Nordstrom is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Color Balm. So put that on. It's a bronzer with SPF. Isn't that something? I don't see what can be wrong with layering your SPFs. I know some people think that you shouldn't mix them, but again, I'm layering them on top of one another, so I'm hoping that this is okay. Blending that in, and I'm just, my thought process is, and if you're a dermatologist, please weigh in, but I just feel like the more layers of SPF, the better, right? If anyone could, Direct me to resources on this would be grateful. So there, put some on my nose, just where the sun naturally hits. It should blend in really easily because, you know, we've got all that SPF on underneath. <laughs> okay, I know, I look ugly. Just gonna go wash my hands. Okay, so that's how we're looking. Now I'm gonna move on to the rest of my fudge and we're gonna take the Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. This is a good waterproof brow product. It's Totally an o ooh, mine is so OG that it's watery. I'm so sorry that I'm panting like a dog. Aqua brow is right, it's full of water. Can you hear that? Oh my god, where's the product? Okay, maybe I'm gonna have to use something else. Oh, there it is. Bro. Look at that little nugget. I'm gonna attempt to use it. YOLO! Oh my god, it really looks like a little tiny animal turd. Then I'm going to apply a brow gel. This is the Benefit 24 hour one. And I kind of put the flat side first to get like a lot of the wet gel on there. And then I brush it through with the little bristles. Now, Super Goop. That SPF brand that I was telling you about have these little eyeshadows with SPF in it. It's the Shimmer Shade SPF 30, and I like them because the idea of having SPF on my eyelids is very good to me. And I've been trying to get other colors, but I think they were sold out in the Sephora sale, so I didn't end up getting it. This one's called Golden Hour, but I want some of the other ones. Now, SPF in eyeshadow. Do we think it's necessary? Probably not, but my mom had or has eye cancer and it's a dangerous one. It can travel to your thyroid really easily. We're really lucky that she found it early because her chiropractor saw it as a little freckle in her eye and I just like the idea of having multiple layers of protection. Do you know what I mean, Jellybean? Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and get my waterproof mascara ready because I'm going to do one eye at a time. So curl this eye first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When the lashes are curled, take your waterproof mascara. And because waterproof dries down to be waterproof, I find that 
It's a really good way to hold the curl from your lash curler. So expect your flirty lashes to last all day. I guess unless you go in the water, because I can't imagine that going in the water would hold a curl to your lashes. My God, love it. Okay, then do the other eye. Then another color science product I got off Nordstrom is the SPF 50 Sun Forgettable Color Balm. I got the shade Berry. They do have other shades. I intend to get them all. This stuff is so pigmented. It says to be liberal with it, but don't because you will look like a clown. Little hack when it comes to blush and things, I like to use this soft patty part of my hand because it just covers a larger surface area and just I find blends better than my finger. A little bit on the nose. And then I've got this ultraviolet SPF 30 sheen screen hydrating lip balm in nude. I'm just such a whore for SPF. That's what it looks like. So it does come in a little applicator like that. So I love that lip balm. I also love the Lana Lips lip balm. They have SPF. It's probably like SPF 20. I'll put it here. I need to buy more of them. I'm, I'm all out because I've used it all. I love it. Um, and another one that I got, I actually got this as a gift with purchase from Nordstrom when I bought some clay to post stuff. It's the SPF 30 sunscreen lip protective. This one's just clear, but I tend to use this one a lot. I keep it in my handbag a lot. I think SPF on your lips is something that a lot of people forget about. Um, but I do think it's a huge reason why some people complain about dry lips all the time, because are you putting SPF on your lips? Well, no, they're probably in the sun all the time. If you're in the car, if you're walking outside, it's sensitive skin. So you should be protecting it for sure. Pick up an SPF for your lips. Um, really recommend these ones or the Lana Lips ones. Now, the one product that I haven't been able to find that has SPF is under eye concealer. And I think that would be a fantastic idea. I want under eye concealer with SPF, but I do not have it. So I'm going to use my Item Beauty Concealer. <sighs> and when it comes to powder, they do make SPF powders these days and I love them. I haven't tried one that I don't like yet. I just bought the Color Science one. This one's SPF 20, water resistant for 80 minutes. It's a natural pressed foundation. So this one, um, yeah, really good. When I need to touch up my sunscreen, that's where things get a little bit tricky. Obviously, I'm not gonna go and put more of that CC screen on my face, but what I do have is the Dior Dream Cushion. I actually just bought another one because I bought the pale one and I love it. So I bought one in a more tan color. So this one is SPF 50. So I apply this over the top. Da -da -da. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I would just dab it on over the top like that. Make sure you wash this regularly. Obviously I haven't washed it. I will wash it now because I don't like the idea of double dipping. But what I would do is I would clean it and then dip it in thoroughly and then pat over my face to make sure it's all there, blend it out and then wash it again so that it's a little bit more hygienic. But a lot of people do not like cushions. I love them. They look amazing on their skin. They're so convenient in your handbag. And then because this one's SPF 50, I find it a really easy way to touch up your SPF. Obviously you have to be liberal with it to get the benefits of SPF, but it's better than nothing in my opinion. And then again, another thing that I can layer on top is the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Mineral Broad Spectrum SPF 45 Sunscreen Translucent Brush on Titanium Dioxide and Zinc Oxide Powder for on the go. Now I once twisted this and all of the stuff came out. So don't do that. This one, it just stuff comes out of the tip. So you have to apply a lot. If you go on Sephora, a lot of these SPF products do not have the best reviews. Don't expect it to behave or perform like your non SPF products. We're concerned with protecting our skin here. Now I can see, I don't know if you can see, but I can see that that is on there nicely. Now I wouldn't apply this now in my routine. I would just go outside and like live my life. And then when I feel like I need more SPF protection, I would touch it up because I don't necessarily want a matte finish. I just want the SPF. And so yeah, I do these patting motions. I try to hold it down like that so the product comes out and kind of like pat it and jolt it on. And then once it feels like there's a lot on my face, then I can blend it in. Whoo! 
can you say protected? Okay, then you go like that to pull it into itself like a little turtle and you can put the lid on. And then you pop that into your bag so you don't forget. I'm gonna finish off with some setting spray, MAC Fix Plus. Now, Supergoop have an SPF setting spray that kind of looks a little bit like this. They have mini ones as well. Love to use that as another way to touch up throughout the day. Just layering on my UV protection. Um, yeah, so I don't have it anymore. I've run out. It's so good and it's always sold out. So I don't have it right now, but it's so good. I'll put a picture of it here. Love it. I'm going to add some of this. <sighs> and that's the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus, the pineapple one. I just like that one because it's um, going to help everything stay in place. And it's a nice summery scent. So I put that in there and it helps to cool me down a little bit when I'm in the sun as well. Oh my God, have we reached the end of my SPF journey today? Maybe. Now, guys, I'm gonna show you what I take with me to the beach, okay? So this is my bag, Plage Privé. This is from a hotel that I stayed at with Joey on one of the trips that they sent me on. This is my hat. It's from Shop Starlo. Bought it from the boutique, that's, uh, it's an LA based boutique. This thing here is great. This is, you need one of these. I bought it on a website called L Space, but that's not the brand. The brand is Albanese, Lindsay Albanese. It's a hectic magnet. Look at it. It's aggressive, but you use it over your hat to stick your hat to your bag. I have it in white and black. Can't recommend it enough for when you want to be hands-free with your hat. When you're traveling, you can put it on your luggage. It's so wonderful. Definitely buy yourself one of these. Then you'll never forget your hat. You can probably like clip other things in it too, like a t-shirt, whatever. Um, okay, then inside, aside from my usual, like I would have my phone, my wallet, bloody blah, blah, blah. Oh, I would have my water bottle. This water bottle I would take with me everywhere. It's the Bondi Sands and Frank Green one. I drink like four of them a day, basically. I'm always filling it up. It's my second one today already. Um, because it has a straw, I just find that I'm drinking it constantly. Um, and it's a nice thick straw, so you're not pursing your lips around it and getting wrinkles. Very important to stay hydrated, obviously. And then in here I have this little face halo. This is how we repurpose the face halo products. So when people send back their face halos for us to upcycle, we make little, we make clothes and bags and things like that. So you can purchase these. And inside is where I keep a lot of my beauty products for the beach. So this is what I will have packed, okay? I pack some face halos. These are the best thing to remove SPF because SPF can be pretty stubborn sometimes. Really recommend it. Even like zinc, like hardcore surfing zinc comes off with just face halo and water. So always pack that. Then I've got my little refreshing setting spray. Typically it would be the super goop one, but I'm out. If I'm going to touch up with my Dior cushion, I would pack that. I've got, these are my three favorite little sunscreens to pack in my bag for touch-ups. This one's the Glow Stick Sunscreen SPF 50 from Super Goop. Um, it's kind of a shitty design because you have to push it from the bottom and I just can't control the pushing it up enough. So I've pushed it like all the way up and now it's all up in the cap and stuff, but whatever. It's really good and easy to apply. It's invisible, still easy enough to spread, and it's small. And then the Super Goop Glow Oil is another good one if I want a bit of a glow. This one's a little mist. It normally comes in a bigger size, but I got sent this sample and I find it so handy for the handbag. The Ultraviolet SPF 50. Again, I love the full size of this, but this is a little small one and it's a hydrating body and hand sunscreen. So I like this one because it's good to put on your hands so you don't forget that area. Then of course my powder SPF from Peter Thomas Roth for touch-ups. And then I would normally just pack one lip balm, but I've got two in here because this one's got a tint to it. This one's clear. So we've got the Clé de Peau and the Ultraviolet. And then what I have in here is a little hand sanitizer. This is the SIBO Express hand sanitizer. And it's a really skinny, small one, so it's good to pack. And then my Listerine Cool Mint Pocket Packs. Love these. I mean, I've always liked them, but I don't like chewing gum because I have TMJD. So this is good because it just dissolves on your tongue and refreshes your mouth and kills germs. 
um, and so it's really good for when you're wearing a mask so obviously I would normally have my mask I'm at my house now so I don't have it in my bag but I would have a few masks in my bag and then I like to put this on pretty regularly throughout the day or use those pretty regularly throughout the day and then the only other thing I would have in here is a little bit of perfume and typically I carry you know like little samples that I've gotten because when you shop online they always give you samples um, this is the Ellis Brooklyn salt mini one which is a nice one for the beach because it's salty or replica beach walk and this one is the Kayali Musk 112. Whoa! I know this might seem excessive. I don't think you can be excessive when it comes to SPF, can you? I would love to be educated on this, but I feel like the way I do it is okay because it's layering. I'm not mixing ingredients together and stuff. Oh, I would probably also pack this one because I need to put it on my legs and stuff. Now, as I mentioned, cancer runs in my family. So another thing that I always wear is my sunglasses. Oh wow, these ones are so polarized, I can't actually see the screen. And that's gone green. Weird. So polarization is not to do with UV protection, but I've checked the Bolon website. And Bolon only provides the best quality lenses. They all come with anti-reflection, UV protection, and waterproof. Um, and that is it is this good for you guys <laughs> i'll take it off i think that's everything i wanted to share with you guys for my beach poolside must-haves and full face of spf friendly skincare makeup blah -de -blah -de -blah -blah -blah. Um, i hope you guys enjoyed i know it's extra i'm very curious to hear your thoughts especially if you know more than me about spf i'm trying to educate myself right now on all of that um, I know I layer a lot of SPF products on top of each other and I think from my basic research that's fine. The issue comes when you're like trying to mix different things, like don't mix them. Um, but again, if you're a dermatologist or something, um, let me know in the comments. I'd love to read all the comments and thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time, um, hopefully very soon. I'll probably have the baby by the time you see this. Um, I appreciate your patience. I'll definitely be on Instagram though. I do have pre-filmed content there. So thanks guys for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Bye.